Hello everyone. Um, today our patient is uh, the classic and my beloved uh, PlayStation 2 the Slimline version. Uh, we're going to change the laser lens. This is something that can happen quite often after so many years. Uh, you cannot find these consoles uh, as you probably know. Today uh, the console has been discontinued since uh, 2013. Little things um, uh, can go wrong. Uh, this is a very reliable machine. There is a plastic uh, cap that holds down a switch at the bottom, um, uh, down there at the bottom, up at the front and at the back um, of uh, the laser. Um, sometimes these plastic uh, caps can uh, found, be found broken. Uh, one important thing to, to point out here is not every optical uh, laser lens is suitable for uh, all models of the PlayStation 2. One quick uh, look at the back, like uh, this console here, um, has the, uh, the external power supply. This means that it is uh, some specific model of some specific series, and this is 77,000 series. Now, um, the appropriate lens is important because it wouldn't fit. So, if you are willing to order a new laser lens, you gotta check um, the model first of the machine and then the model of the uh, laser lens uh, spare part. Um, the screws um, down there, you can see we have to remove all screws at the bottom. Remember, uh, we have to remove the upper part because the bottom part holds the main board together. Uh, and the laser lens looks like this. Let me open it up real quick. You can get a, a sense that you can see how it looks and it takes the place of the old lens uh, like this one which doesn't work anymore uh, remember that the ribbon cable uh, that connects the laser uh, lens mechanism to the main board the ribbon cable uh, you can uh, find there at the back with a copper uh, collar is not included in uh, the package so you have to carefully remove oops, the, this uh, ribbon because we're going to use it um, and place it back to the new lens. Uh, and it, um, uh, it's an easy fix. Uh, you got to be cautious like always with laser lens and um, tiny electronics. Um, but it, it's an easy fix overall. Uh, quite classic. Many, many people um, do it on their own. Uh, let me get better light here so you can see uh, the similarity. Um, the, actual, the actual mechanism is the um, uh, aluminum part uh, connected to the ribbon which actually moves up and down reading the discs from beginning to end and um, pops up the games. Now the best way to illustrate this um, for you to check uh, is to bring both uh, versions together. So you can see um, the 9000, <coughs> this is the 77000 uh, version we've been looking at and uh, which we're, we're going to fix today and the other one is the 9000 uh, series. Uh, you can tell the difference uh, at a glance because the other machine doesn't require an external power su supply uh, it requires mains so it goes straight to the mains and as you can see this model is 90,000 series so you can tell uh, this specific lens uh, that I bought uh, in order to fix the, the other machine today is absolutely not suitable for this version <coughs> So, uh, watch out before you uh, place your order. You can get um, the right 
um, version of your console from the sticker underneath the machine. So um, keep your screws um, next to you at a safe place and all the plastic caps um, on the side somewhere. Uh, you can see at the bottom the two rubber feet uh, have no screw underneath so uh, these can remain in place but the rest uh, has to go so now I'll get back to the version thing so make sure following this list you can see on the screen um, your model against the laser model to be used so you can place the right order for this right so uh, remember the upper part of the console um, where the DVD port is should be replaced the bottom part the whole plastic bottom part uh, is where the main board is and you can clearly see uh, here the lens this uh, vertical shaft that uh, allows the lens to go up and down reading uh, the DVD's whole, uh, whole area we have to unscrew first this little screw so we can release uh, this part from the shaft and then uh, we have to um, go over a couple of other screws um, to release the shaft complete, completely so we can take uh, the laser out and uh, put the new one in um, so three little uh, screws in total it's not hard it's very easy uh, watch out not to lose anything those uh, bronze um, little braces are holding the um, shaft down together um, those you have to release and unscrew one up and one down and remove the shaft completely and then um, you can have access to the back uh, of the laser lens mechanism and remove the ribbon cable so here we have the back uh, we have access to the back of the mechanism uh, pulling out the um, ribbon cable is easy there is a, this edge connector there is a plastic edge you have to pull up and then pull back uh, the ribbon and the ribbon is released now we have prepared the new one with a shaft on the side uh, already in place and we do the same thing just put it facing down and uh, try to put the ribbon cable in place the last thing to do before we place the ribbon cable into the edge connector is to uh, go on the left side as it, uh, the laser is uh, facing down and uh, we can have the old um, on the side just to compare and remove the safety. The safety is um, a big piece of solder that holds three points together. We can uh, have a better view uh, like this. Um, the one at, at the top is the old one. You can see three little uh, contact points up there but uh, to the new one there is a big um, piece of solder that holds uh, everything together all you have to do is place your soldering iron onto this remove the solder so you can reveal the contacts and now it's time to to do everything in reverse order and uh, put everything back together um, close the case and call it a wrap for the day. Um, I like very much this machine. Again, uh, double check the type of the lens before you order this. You don't want to step into uh, delays and trouble with wrong orders. Um, I like PlayStation 2 very much because it's simple. You can see uh, everything um, is um, something you can understand and you can fix. Uh, no big heat sinks, no big ventilators like PS3 and PS4 uh, that used to have um, heating problems, no um, red light of 
death, no yellow light of death and stuff. Uh, the old uh, lens, um, uh, there's nothing we can salvage out of it. Uh, just a couple of screws underneath. Yet those two screws um, do regulate the um, the voltage. So just don't um, get tempted to play because you you might over voltage or uh, under voltage the laser lens. So yeah, I like this machine with its tiny ventilator, um, the great uh, graphics engine for for back in the day, I mean, and the simplicity of the PlayStation 2. Um, the only thing that I don't like in this machine is that it uses the external <laughs> power uh, supply, but um, yeah, that's okay. So what do you say? Let's uh, get on with uh, testing, um, how the uh, repair works and everything. Uh, so let's go to the big screen and use my TV um, loading a game and check it out. Isn't that great? <coughs> Every time uh, we can see a game loading after some repair. Feeling is great. So I guess we're done. Uh, it looks okay. Looks fine. The game is uh, still loading uh, yeah but uh, I guess we're done uh, I call it a wrap for today thank you guys for watching um, consider subscribing um, yeah you know the drill um, what can I say I love PS2 and I wanna make it um, work like for as uh, much as I can I'm pretty sure you have had some great time with it and you will be uh, still having fun after many many years uh, because it's reliable and a quite a success. Thanks, bye.